and the lighting's terrible again. Boo. So here we have a bunch of flowers from Dollar General. Why? Because we are making a tree. And not just any tree, we are making a cherry tree. You can see in the Disney adaptation. And this tree is where the dryad, Weeping Willow, is going to live. Basically like the spirit of the tree, I guess you could say. And fun fact, I actually named her Weeping Willow because there are such things as Weeping Willow Cherry Blossom Trees. So now I want to give a huge shout out to my mom, who was actually the one that came up with how to make this cherry tree and she's done pretty much most of the work. I picked out these flowers to be the blossoms, but as for the base of the tree itself, it was all her. Now obviously this isn't how the finished product is going to look. This is just, you could say, the skeleton of the tree. This is basically going to be the base, and we're going to mold it all up with clay all around it and then add the little cherry blossoms later. There's a bunch of different wires and tape and super glue and actual branches from actual trees? That is making up the whole base of this tree. So I personally think it is coming along very nicely, and I will be sure to make a video once the tree is all complete. But for now, here is a few work in progress pictures that I took. You like the tree, Bebe? You like it? You like the tree? And like I said, once the tree is all done, then it will be in a different behind-the-scenes video. But for now, this is the cherry tree. And if you want to be a part of this process with me, the casting call is still open, and I will leave a link to the video with all the information in the description and the pinned comment. So thank you very much for watching, and for tomorrow, happy Reformation Day! to celebrate when Martin Luther wrote his thesis to the Catholic Church, telling them what was what. And, uh, Halloween too, I, I guess. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next update!